Hi everybody, this is Stacy from craftaholicmama.blogspot.com and I just want to show you a little bit of something I'm working on right now, getting ready to gear up to make Christmas cards. I tend to give out about 75 Christmas cards each year. My husband on both sides has got um, a huge amount of people in his family on both sides, his mom and his dad. My side's a lot smaller, but... Um, Family and friends, it usually ends up being about 75 cards every year, um, which is really fun. I love doing it. So here's some designs that I'm working on. These are just kind of like the, um, the front focal point of the card that I'll be doing. Um, these are, this one is a pre-colored digi stamp from Mel Jen's Designs, and I'll have a link to the um, image below and I did some uh, stickles and I think this one is either stardust or diamonds I can't remember which and then I mounted it on um, it's on a pop dot uh, this is a circle from Cricut cartridge lacy labels and I can find out what page that's on and give you a, a idea of where to find it so this one is, I can't remember what he's called, but in the link you'll see. And then this one, I have to color yet. I haven't colored him up yet. And I'll be putting him on some type of a lacy circle as well. And then these are from just my Printmaster print program. I have the 18.1 version. I'm sure it's old, but I just uh, did a search for winter and this was a really cute one that I came up with and again I stickled him with I think this one's Stardust uh, mounted him on a evergreen colored circle and then on a purple uh, scallop circle that's just a punch and then this one I put on a smaller punch without a circle I'm not sure which version I like better if I like the bigger one or, they're the same size white di uh, design or image, but it's which um, size scallop they're mounted on. That was from my Printmaster. This was also from Printmaster. This little guy. three I guess three little guys. Little snowmen. I love snowmen. They're my favorite um, holiday graphic. So this one's mounted on green to match the scarf on the left hand side little guy. This one's mounted on red to match the middle guy. And this one's mounted on blue to match the right hand side guy. Alright, now the rest of these graphics are from Dollar Doodles and I will put a link to them in the description below as well. Um, these are, I cannot remember, there's several different collections here, I cannot remember the name of the collection but um, I'll put a link to each one down below. So this one I just um, die cut with one of my Spellbinders dies. I'm not sure which die it is. I'd have to look that up as well. Boy, I'm really prepared, aren't I? <laughs> um, so he, I left him blank. I'll probably ink around the edges. He's already mounted on foam tape, ready to go. Here's a little gingerbread girl with her stocking and tree. And then here is... A bunch of these in the scallop, the printed scallop squares. There wasn't, I didn't really want to fussy cut around all these little scallop squares, so I just did a little white border and then corner rounded them. And all of these are already ready to go on squares. They're very cute graphics. I just love the graphics. And I, if I can get a pre colored digi. I will usually purchase that before black and white just because um, my copy coloring isn't horrible, but it's far from good. So, uh, and the, the, the pre colored ones are already so nicely colored up, and yeah, I'm just. So these are on fussy cut around on foam tape, and then I put them on, I want to say they're three inch white circles and ran them through my Swiss Dots Cuddlebug folder 
and then on a three and a half inch scallops circle. Very cute. I just love these. They had a ton of other ones, but these particular ones I fell in love with. I think I got two in that hand. Now he's on a smaller scallop circle. I wasn't sure, but I think I like the bigger one better because to me this barely pops out. That red, those red loopies barely pop out to me, and I like to have the color. Another one. Here's another one. We'll go a little bit faster since I've already described the um, specifics of each one. Let me just show you the graphics. And then it there is a couple of these in the set. So I'm, I'm going to do a bunch of those for the sentiments. Now these are on the same Lacey Labels cartridge. It's actually the exact same one as this. But on my Gypsy, I stretched it to match the inside oval. And then I also did an inside oval, I think, off of Georgian Basic Shapes. So these are the lacy circles, or lacy ovals. And because these images are longer and skinnier, so I wanted to do more an oval shape to them. So cute. I just love that little gingy girl. I think all in all I have about 27 different um, things ready to go. So I'm about a third of the way there. Now I just have to put the cards together. I'm going to do the cards a uh, pretty simple layout. I'm going to let these be the focal point and just put some pretty background paper and Maybe a rip it, ribbon and then the sentiment, you know. I'm just going to let the, this be the focal point of the card and then do the rest of the card fairly simple. Um, when you're making that many, you can't... I don't have the time. I have a four-and-a-half-year-old disabled daughter who is um, uh, limited to a wheelchair and is 100% dependent on everything done for her so um, unfortunately I don't have the time. Well the phone is ringing so that is the end of my uh, little spiel about my Christmas cards. Hope you like everything and I'll look, look for the links below. Thanks!